The overall goal of this procedure is to reproducibly derive high-quality retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE, from stem cells. This is accomplished by first growing inducible pluripotent stem cells to confluency. In the second step, the media is changed to direct the cells into RPE fates. Next, the RPE cells are isolated from the other differentiated cells in the dish, and then the cultures are expanded until sufficient numbers of cells are obtained. Ultimately, the dark pigmentation and cobblestone morphologies of the cultures can be used to confirm the RPE cells are reaching terminal differentiation. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like spontaneous differentiation, is that adding defined factors accelerates differentiation time and increases RPE yield. So to date, thousands of rodents have been cured using RPE cells derived from IPS, a variety of retinal degenerative diseases. However, if we're to efficiently and effectively translate this into treating humans in the clinics with these diseases, it's absolutely imperative that we develop well-established reproducible protocols which will provide us with high quality, high numbers of RPE cells from IPS. Visual presentation of this method is essential as only one person can work in the microscope under the hood at any given time, making the isolation step difficult to visualize. Mitchell Prince, a research technician from my laboratory, will now be demonstrating the protocol associated with the tissue culture aspects of the procedure. To direct the differentiation of stem cell-derived RPE, Culture the stem cell line of interest on a layer of mouse embryonic...